All right. Thanks for tuning in, uh, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or on Twitter at Anthony Smoke, S-M-O-A-K. All right. What are we doing today? Today, I'm going to show you how to build a waterfall chart in Tableau. All right. So all apologies to TLC. We're going to go chasing uh, waterfalls and we're doing it again in uh, Tableau. So what is a waterfall chart? So you're going to have an initial value, you're going to have an ending value, and you're going to have intermediate steps. And so your waterfall chart basically um, helps you show how you arrive at a net value. You're going to break down the cumulative effect of positive and negative contributions, right? So if I were to go here and show you, I've got this cash flow table, right? And so I've got categories, which is basically a dimension. And then I've got uh, measures here, which is the, uh, the cash flow uh, values themselves. That's all you need. You need two columns to get started with a waterfall chart. So uh, to get started, what I would do is here, I would grab my, uh, my cash flows, which is my measure, and I would bring that up to rows. And then I would take my uh, dimension, which is categories, and let's bring that up to columns. So I got a nice uh, bar chart here. So I don't have these ordered in the way that I want. So what I could do, I can go to uh, categories and I can say sort. I uh, go down here to manual and then I can move these around into the order that I want, right? So once you've done that, I already have a, another sheet here with the values ordered the way uh, that I want. So the next thing I would do here is some sizing, some some formatting. So I'd go down here and let's format that. And on the header, uh, I want to change this, the font to, let's go with eight. So that makes it a little easier uh, to read, right? And then I'm gonna fit the width here. Right, so now we're we're nice and uh, and spread out, and on this side, I want to do some editing of the axis as well. Oh no, let me not do that. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, here we go. Fields. I want to take this down to here we go. Custom, and let's you know we don't want any decimals, and I want these units to be in millions. Right. So that makes it a little easier to uh, to understand there, right? So next step for the sum of cash flows, I want to do a quick table calculation, and we want this to be a running total, right? We've got that nice uh, you know uh, bar spread here, starting with our initial value, going to our our ending value, and then on analysis, we want to go to totals, right? And I want to show. Uh, show row grand totals and that's just gonna put this column here right and I want to right click in the pane and I want to format I'm gonna go to borders right and I want to take this down to uh, grand total let's take that down to none you see that line disappeared that was there previously all right so we're, we're at this point and the next thing you want to do you want to change this from automatic. You want to change it to a Gantt bar. So this is where our values are. You can see where, where our values lie uh, along the continuum here. And so the next step, if you understand the next step, you can really kind of understand uh, how, how a waterfall chart is made. So even though we're starting at about $3.2 billion, if I were to size by cash flow, as you'll see here if I if I did this I don't want my uh, my change to move up right I want to start from zero and go up to where my Gantt bar is right so I can't just pull cash flow onto uh, size what I have to do is I have to create a calculated field right that's how you get to the uh, calculated field and I already have it pre-calculated and it's called negative cash flow basically it's my negative measure if I go in here right, I called it negative cash flows and you're just gonna put negative and you know whatever your measure is for me it's cash flows right you make that very simple calculated field you drag it to size and there's our, our waterfall chart right so now I originally started at uh, 3.2 uh, billion I'm not increasing uh, by by that 3.2 billion I'm decreasing down to zero so that shows me my starting up to where that Gantt chart uh, uh, bar was so that's that's how uh, the waterfall chart is made essentially and so 
I can take cash flows and I'm going to drag that to color, right? We've got these uh, uh, nice colors here and I can, you know, let, let's edit the color. We want, we basically, we just want two colors. I can make this, uh, if you want to be festive, you can go with the red green. Um, take that down to two steps, apply it, All right? Oh, let's go back in here and edit that again and let's include totals. So this is our very festive uh, red green, but we want to be uh, uh, sensitive to people who may have some sort of color blindness. So we can also change that to the classic uh, red black. So if I were to go in here, go to red black diverging, include totals, okay. And you can see uh, when I go up in value, I'm black. When I come down, uh, I am red. And so now it's just a matter of uh, doing some uh, uh, some formatting. What I want to do is I want to bring my cash flows and bring that to label, right? And of course we want to uh, we want to edit this. So let's um, let's go to oops. Come on, work with me. Uh, let's go to format and yeah, let's just make sure I'm on the right field. Some of cash flows, and I want this uh, number to be. Uh, let's change this units to um, millions, right? So that makes it a little bit uh, more easier to read. And then I can format uh, my cash flows. Okay, I've got I've got my zero decimal, so I'm good here. So again, hey, this is your waterfall chart. You've got your formatting done. I've started with uh, at three point. Uh, uh, two billion dollars we do some increasing and some decreasing all the way down to uh, one negative 1.3 1 uh, billion dollars so this is your waterfall chart thank you for watching uh, go ahead and take this lesson get out there and do some great things with your data uh, this has been anthony smoke thanks